think people just get attraction all wrong. Now, there's many different factors to why you'll be attracted to someone. Now, the main one that people seem to focus on is physical attraction. Now, I'll admit, I think physical attraction is the basis of all of a attraction, right? It's the foundation. Because sure, you might have someone with a lovely personality on someone who, you know, you really vibe with and they say everything and they have wonderful habits. But if you're not physically attracted to them, like you look at them and it's just like, you know, you're just seeing them as a friend, that's not fair to you and it's not fair to the other person. And something that I've realized is that when, you know, I'm with a girl and she says something that, you know, doesn't sit right with me or she does something that's just a bit degenerate, then she starts to become more attractive, both physically and personality wise. But then on the flip side, if someone says something, you know, it could be that I have like a mild crush on someone and they say one thing that I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, they might say, oh, I go to the gym, I do this, I do this. And then suddenly their physical attraction boosts. I start to notice more of their beautiful physical qualities rather than some possible negatives. So of course, physical attraction is important. I'm not gonna deny, deny that, but it's not everything. And this is what we're led to believe. It's like, if you're ugly, then that's game over for you. There's no point self-improving. That's what Black Phil tells you, all the chuffing incels who are just <laughs> brain dead. They'll just tell you that there's no point self-improving. There's no point going to the gym. There's no point meditating. There's no point doing good habits because no woman would want to be with you. And I think that's just wrong. It's just a blatant lie. Because people don't think about attraction logically. People just think, okay, I'm, you know, I have ears that stick out or I have a big nose or whatever, or my jawline's, you know, not as sharp as it could be. They just think, yeah, no, no girl's going to want to hang with me. But the issue is you've got to think, man, like, what else is wrong with you? <laughs> like, sure, it could be physical attraction that's the issue. And there's many things you can do to self-improve. People may say, oh, but I can't self-improve this, I can't improve that. You can get rid of acne. You can lose body fat, which will make you slightly more attractive. You can, you know, wash your hair, have a shower, stop fucking stinking, bro, please. <laughs> you can just do little things that boost your physical attraction and make people want to be around you. But honestly, you might have a shit personality as well. Just become a better person. That's another thing that people don't want to think about. They, just, You know, we're told, oh, everyone's perfect just the way they are. No, you might just be a shitty human being that girls don't want to be around. So sort you sent out. The next thing is that people don't think of it in, they think of it in numbers, but the wrong way. So people are like, oh, I'm a, I'm a four out of 10, I'm a three out of 10, right? So you're focused on statistics and numbers in terms of physical attraction, right? Logically, right? Logically, there is 8 billion people on this planet. Surely there must be someone for everyone, right? That's just logic. If you were to place me, you know, with every woman in the world, and you told me that there's not a single woman that doesn't want to be with me, I wouldn't believe you. What I would do is that I'd go find out for myself, because this is the problem. People will stay in their hometown, they'll stay in, you know, not go further afield than the region that they live in, and say, oh, there's no girls for me, girls aren't attracted to me. Of course, bro. Like, if I just kept you in the same village the rest of your life, right, back in the day, that's what people had to do. They just had to sell. They had to be friends with the people they went to church with, and they had to get with, you know, a girl that was, I don't know, a family friend or a neighbor or someone else who also went to church. That's just how things worked because people didn't travel that far. But nowadays, people are traveling left, right and center. People are going to cities to work or to go to university or to, you know, to hang out with people or for relationships. Like, think about it. Have you ever been on a family holiday and you've just like found that one person who's like you really vibe with, a really great friend or like a potential 
romance, but obviously, sadly, it can never work because they live in a foreign country. That's the logic you need to apply, that there's not just girls in the area that you live in. There's people, you know, in your nearest city or there's people in a different country and people in a different continent, man. You can't just restrict yourself to the place that you're born. You've got to get out there. You've got to have experiences. You've got to live. And this in turn makes you more attractive. It's crazy to think that just going to places and not being a jumping NPC stood in one place, walking from place to place, make, will, you know, harm your attraction, but it does. You just got to be someone who surprises people, someone who stands out. Don't stick in the same, same pattern over and over again. Go to new places, try new things, speak with more people. Surely the more people that you interact with and you, you know, the more likely that you're going to be to find the one. You've got to be in it to win it, man. And what is there to lose? All right, sure, you might get rejected for a few girls, but you still gain the social experience. You still gain the ability to say, all right, you know, that's a rejection, but what can I learn from it? What could I have done differently? How could I have got that person to open up a bit more? And this is how people need to start thinking. They need to think optimistically and realistically. Like if I cold approach, I don't know, a thousand girls, you're telling me I'm not going to get one of them, like the, an Instagram or a phone number, or just have a pleasant conversation with them at least. Come on, bro. Use your head. Thank you for listening. Take care, bro.